Now, when it comes to playing online poker these days, let's be honest, what's legal and not legal is super confusing. But when it comes to playing Bovada poker in Illinois, as well as other parts of the United States, it's completely legal to do so. You guys got to understand that Bovada operates offshore. It's not within the United States, but they do have a license in the country they operate out of. I've also been playing here for over a decade, and you know my experience has always been good, and playing poker on here is honestly awesome, guys. Okay, anyways, I hope that helps you out. Next, I'd like to go over a recent session where I got another nice winner. Of course, you guys would like to learn more about Bovada Poker, get started here. There will be some brownest links you can check out directly below in the description. Don't forget to tap that like, and let's get in these hands. Okay, uh, this hand... I really liked how I played. So even though we had absolutely nothing, I mean, we had some runner-runner possibilities. Uh, but when this guy checked it on the turn after, you know, re-raising it, you know, three-betting it pre-flop and then betting it on the flop, you know, he checked it over on the turn. So I definitely sensed a lot of weakness here. And I decided to bet close to $90 at this with absolutely nothing. And the only reason I did this was because I felt like he was weak. You know, if you had a hand maybe like pocket tens, pocket jacks, uh, this would be a tough call to make um, because basically what I'm doing here is representing that I have an ace or a pretty big hand. Anyways, I got him to fold there with absolutely nothing. And I do like how I played that one because, you know, I sense weakness, and that was kind of just a skill-based play. It could have gone either way, but I thought my bet sizing was good, and you know we ended up taking it down with uh, the jack queen suited. All right, next I went an ace deuce suited. <sighs> this one I actually ended up hitting two pair, uh, which was actually nice. I'm also gonna say that I didn't play perfect in this one by any means, but you know. I still think I played pretty solid in this session. All right, so we hit bottom pair. I made the call here. All right, turn card was a four. Pretty safe card, and, you know, we're still ahead of some over cards like ace-queens, ace-tens, ace-jacks, those kind of things. Anyways, we ended up hitting the ace on the river. I decided to check this over. You know, I just made the call. There was a three to a straight right there, but he just bluffed at it anyway, so it didn't even matter. So the way I played that hand actually worked out in my favor. All right, next time we had pocket threes, set hunting on this one, $35 raise, three bet, I think, something like that. But I decided to make the call because we're up against two other players, and if we hit that three, we could obviously make a ton of money with this. So... However, we missed it. Of course, the deuce popped off. We got an ace out there. Very likely one of these players could have an ace. So we're kind of just in like check fold mode at this point. Really hoping to get a free card. Okay, we did. Still didn't get it. Jack on the turn. Not what we were looking for. Kind of back to check fold mode here, which is kind of sad. Sad to see your pocket threes you know, get nothing, but that's how it goes sometimes. Just got to be patient. Now, I could promise <laughs> the all-in situation you guys are going to be seeing here shortly was, it was very ridiculous. Um, very ridiculous indeed. All right, so that guy took it down, you know, I think he had a big hand anyways, didn't matter. Tricky spot with the 5-6 suited. This was a frustrating hand for a couple of reasons. Um, you know, I'll be calling three bets with this all day. I'm going to be raising with this all day. But, um, you know, it was one of those flops where you're not folding. And you're just hoping to get some good cards on the turn. Um, you know, because we do have the flushes, you know, some runner runner straight cards, two pairs, you know, three of a kind with the five. But the queen is out there. So, you know, you don't want to get too crazy. All right, so he's going to go with the continuation bet. I am going to make the call.
Okay, he bet a decent size. He took the time to think about his bet. So, you know, definitely possibly as a hand like king, queen, jack, queen. Uh, turn card was a seven. But what was interesting was it gave us a flush draw, um, making it really hard to get away from this hand now. And I'm really just hoping he doesn't bet huge. Hoping to get a free card here. Okay, he kept it small enough to keep me in the hand, so it was a good bet by him. We missed on the river. Now, we are actually ahead of some missed flush draws. That's really the only thing I could be hoping for at this point, but he bet this like he had a pair. You know, uh, he checked it. He ended up having pocket tens. It was very unfortunate right there for us, but it is what it is, you know. Okay, so here is the hand of the session. And when you're dealing with uh, a flush draw with low suited cards, it makes it even harder when you're dealing with all in raises, you know, uh, large, just large um, re raises, and you're sitting with basically one of the lowest flushes you could have but i put a ton of thought into this because we are going to end up getting it all in here and um i mean talk about a crazy flop right because not only do we have the flush draw but a four would give us a nut straight um you know and i decided to spice this up a little bit i put in a little bit of a raise here just to see where this guy was at you know sometimes when you do this Somebody will end up either folding, they might just flat call you. If they re-raise you, they could have a big pocket pair, but we ended up hitting the flush. And not only that, we did have, we actually have a straight flush draw, which is uh, you know, pretty, pretty spicy, I gotta say. So the seven would give us that. But um I was a little bit worried here. Because, you know, the board didn't pair, which is great, but when you make a play like this you're basically saying two things. You've got a set or you have a flush. I mean, it just doesn't feel like this is a bluff. I mean, why would you bluff your whole stack here? And I had to put the time clock on this because honestly, guys, this is a really, really tough one. A part of me was thinking about folding it, but I had to really think because, you know, what are the odds of him having a flush when we're holding two diamonds? It's pretty low, you know? Um, so I I just let the clock run on this, really thinking it through before making the call. I don't think I was ever folding here. I mean, it's an impossible fold. It's kind of like one of those spots, like if he's got you, he's got you, you know? Um, but, but yeah, uh, I am going to end up making the call, and I think you guys are going to be absolutely shocked at this. I know I was. And yeah, like I said, we really let the clock run down here. And it's okay to do this when you're dealing with a big hand. It's definitely okay. And yeah, he turned over ace jack. He went for the bluff. Um, and I got to give him some credit. That was that took a lot of balls to make that that all in shove right there. But, you know, I like I said, I went through my thought process on that. And when it comes to playing flushes and flush draws, especially with like the low suited cards like that, you know, <clears throat> I think sometimes <clears throat> sometimes it, it's a 50-50 and in in that spot <clears throat> I really, you know, like thought it through and I just couldn't get away from it. And fortunately for us, you know, we took that monster hand down and really put us in a good spot for this session, you know, being up a buy-in, you know, 500 bucks, you know, onto the next hand here, we had a king queen. This guy was betting into me and I was like, okay, like what could you possibly have? Are you trying to say you have like pocket kings or pocket aces i've got a king so i don't know anyways <clears throat> we ended up taking this down and you know he kind of just bluffed at it anyways so i was um <clears throat> happy with that result you know feel free to comment below um as well about that that big hand we had if you want but like i said man it was it was it was close um but i was really never folding there it was an impossible fold for me 
and it paid off. Um, and this is the last hand King Jag. We took down another little pot here, but went up about 700 bucks for this session after playing for maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So definitely the result was good. It doesn't always work out like this, but you know, you play, you try to improve, you know, you take the wins, you take the losses and it's just another day at the tables. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you're looking for some great poker sites, resources, or want to get under poker news that I recent on one email a week, check out those links below. Thanks for watching this, guys, and we'll see you all in the next poker video.